Hi, hello. This week in the laboratory, we are going to work in uh, creating a prototype for our um, visual novel or uh, adventure game or uh, any other experience you are working in. We'll use PowerPoint. I'm going to explain uh, what you have as materials later, but just explaining the goals of this exercise, what you have to produce, well, I would ask you to uh, personalize the template, add a timer, add sound, music, any kind of uh, material uh, or um, graphic element from your uh, current projects. So this second part of the exercise would be to make a comment about this. Um, is it working? Uh, what is the proportion of time between the first, second and third act? So remember that uh, we are going to create experiences that are then later experienced as a story. So you need them to be translated to uh, a story in terms of act one, act two and act three. Okay, so in terms of percentage, uh, remember that we have talked about this. Usually the second act is uh, usually the half of the experience. Okay, so second acts are usually more developed than the first and the third. Okay, so then later we can uh, we can share our results and discuss them uh, in the seminars. If you think about this, uh, the acts. Uh, resultings are not going to be just one, two, and three. Obviously, are going to be as many as the different possibilities of your story. So you would uh, have probably uh, this model of three acts story at least uh, in three, five, ten, twelve uh, different ways, depending on the complexity of your story. Okay, so uh, a prototype like this, easy to produce and easy to test should be very useful to uh, see if this work in terms of storytelling. If you go to the PowerPoint that you will find in the Canvas side, you will see this is a very simple PowerPoint. This is a, a project that I created so you can prototype your uh, visual novel or even other kinds of projects using PowerPoint. In contrast with other ways of prototyping, the advantage of doing that using this system is that this allows you to measure the time. It also allows you to check the quality of the experience, try to uh, visualize on how if the uh, user is going to experience this as a, a traditional sequential story. So if you go and you just uh, play that, you just start the presentation from the beginning, you will see uh, goes my story, a prototype, and you have a chapter. These are the elements that we have commented in the lesson to be cutscenes, to be uh, moments where the interactions are suspended. And then you have another chapter that it could be considered a menu. You have two options, okay? So one of the books, red or green, you go to the green, okay? And then this is uh, the end of the uh, prototype. There are different ways you can measure the time uh, within this uh, prototype using PowerPoint. You can use rehearsing timings and then recall the screen, or you can use um, uh, for example, uh, an external adding here, get addings, and it's is, uh, and then in timer, you have different external tools that you can use uh, in order to add a timer to your presentations, and that's perfectly fine. You can also add it in After Effects or in Premiere if you edit the video when you upload that. And that's all for today. Uh, thank you very much and take care.